The word Terquesquicentennial may have a few too many syllables in it, but this Saturday, Marquette is celebrating its Terquesquicentennial. This Saturday, Marquette turns 175 years old. It was on July 6, 1849, that the schooner Algonquin pulled into a natural deep water harbor around which several Anishinaabe villages were located, including one called Gitchinama Zebing. Aboard the Algonquin were several members of the Marquette Forge and Iron Company, among them Amos Harlow, Edward Clark, and Robert Graverett, intent on building a community from which they could ship the iron ore that was being mined 10 miles to the west. They were greeted by a group of Ojibwa elders from those villages, including Charlie Kabagam, who would all prove vital to the future growth of the area. Three days later, Harlow went back to Sault Ste. Marie, purchased 63 acres of land from the U.S. Land Office, and the village of Wooster, named after Amos Harlow's hometown in Massachusetts, came into being. Later that summer, Harlow returned to the new town, where he and a young man in his employ, Peter White, set out to build a dock so that vessels would no longer have to moor at Ripley's Rock out in the lake. They built the dock in one day, proclaimed it sturdy enough to be in use for the next 200 years, and then awoke the next morning to find that a storm had washed the dock away. It would not be the last time the lake exerted its authority over the new community on its shore. Over the next several years, Amos Harlow brought the new village to life, building a sawmill and constructing a boarding house for workers, which was run by his wife, Olive. In 1850, the name Wooster was dropped, and the growing town was officially christened after a French missionary who had explored the Great Lakes, Jacques Marquette. In the almost two centuries since, Marquette has grown into a city of almost 25,000 inhabitants and has evolved from a port community to a city of education, medicine, and arts with a dash of its original purpose, the shipping of iron ore, still being carried out. So happy birthday, Marquette. Enjoy your Terroir's Quincentennial, and may you thrive for another 175 years.